Norwegian police say they think the man accused of killing 79 people last week acted alone. Anders Bering Breivik allegedly planted a deadly bomb in downtown Oslo. Police believe that he then traveled to a nearby island where he shot dozens of young people belonging to Norway's ruling Labour Party. He was captured at the scene of the crime. Evidence gathered from Breivik's computer reveals that he was enraged about Muslim immigrants in Norway. In fact, police believe that his 1,500-page manifesto, in which he charged that Europe's Christian traditions were under attack from Islam, was intended to spark a kind of apocalyptic war on religion. There's even a bizarre connection to Asia. In one part of his manifesto, he wrote approvingly of countries like Japan and South Korea that, in his view, kept out foreigners and preserved their national purity. Norwegian prosecutors want to try Breivik in a court that's closed off from the public and media so that he doesn't have an audience for his extremist views. Even if the trial is closed to the public, Breivik's manifesto has already caused a stir in Asia's social media. Here's a sample. That terrorist says, Korea is a good example of maintaining a single-race nation by suppressing a change towards a multicultural society. But in Korea, how come keeping an exclusive policy towards foreigners is not considered Nazi or fascist? We Koreans all need to reflect on ourselves. The tragedy in Norway, writes this blogger from South Korea, is caused by a Norwegian rightist who feels anger and has a sense of crisis about the invasion of Islam into Western Europe. This case also shows that the Korean government's blanket pro-multiculturalism policy is a gross mistake. That's ironic. Taiwan has been praised for its pluralistic culture. Please don't involve Taiwan in your crazy actions. To the same extent to which this terrorist's mind is impossible to understand, arguments about the abolition of the death penalty make no sense. I can't accept that countries which abolish the death penalty are wise people. The European Union is a union of idiots. If you want to save a country, you must follow that country's rules. If you break them, you should of course be punished. Norway might use this opportunity to restore the death penalty. If you solve problems by killing people, democracy be damned. Go in time warp to the French Revolution. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.